Lawrence became the horse of a lifetime for her connections after she won six Group 1 races, including the French Oaks. She retired at the end of her four-year-old career in 2019 and recently had her first foal. We went to Salsi Forest Space to speak to Daniel Crichton about Lawrence and her colt. She won six Group 1s um, from two, three to four years of age and she was just an exceptional high-class filly. All of it was memories that will last for a long time to come. Um, but I suppose when she won the May Hill and really announced herself as a high-class filly, it was a pretty special day. And then going on to the Philly's Mile, it was, wasn't great for my heart, but to have had anything to do with a horse that won a Group 1 was pretty exceptional, really. Just presence, really. She had all the presence like, of a good horse in reality. And horses that are that big don't normally have the strength that she had. She just like had so much strength along with her size. John is very much involved in, in the mating of his mares. And um, I think she kind of needed a bit of speed injected into her. And cause she, you know, she had a very high cruising speed, but maybe lacked a turn of foot. Um, and Invincible Spirit is not going to be around forever. So it made sense to go there for her first foal. He, to be honest, he's pretty exceptional. Um, you know, for a first foal, he's great size, loads of quality. He's got a fair bit of Sayuni and Invincible Spirit mixed in there. And um, he has her white snip as well, which I love and lovely big long ears and, and great movement, just like her. He, he has loads of character, yeah. I mean, if you watch him sometimes in the evening and I can see him from my house, like, he does be running around the field, playing with the other foal that's in with him. And he's, he's quite independent, and I think Lawrence has kind of made him that way. Um, she's a, a good mum without being like a, a, a needy mum, if you know what I mean. She's, um, she's put a lot of her spirit in, in, and character into him as well. I think she took a while to kind of realise that she wasn't going to go racing anymore. But once that kind of happened, she's settled into being a mare like fantastically well. Um, she, you know, you don't really notice her around the place because she just is so relaxed and like you can see her grazing in the field. She just, nothing phases her really. Horse of her caliber and John and Jess have been very good to, you know, entrust her into myself and Josh's care. And we're very grateful for that. And obviously we're very grateful to have, you know, provided the service that was needed to to get the foal here safely and, and the mare is back in foal now and everything touch wood has gone, gone well. She's in foal to Kingman. And basically turn of foot again, like she just lacked that turn of foot and, and he's obviously an exceptional high class horse and is getting some very good progeny on the race course and, and uh, we, it just seemed a, a no brainer really.